Cumberland County, welcome to Sex Ed in the Kitchen, where we make tasty treats and deliver up the facts on sexual health. Well, it's been a pretty big year so far with the pandemic, and we're going to need a pretty big dessert. So today we're going to be making sex in a pandemic. This is a great dessert to make during a virtual date night or one to make by yourself because cooking with yourself is good for you and it can relieve stress too. The important thing is that you want to make this dessert and that you make it safely. And if you change your mind and you decide you want an apple halfway through, even if you've made this dessert many times before in many different ways, that's okay. It's your choice. A lot of people think that if you're going to have sex in a pan that you need a really big pan. But for this dessert, and most desserts really, size doesn't matter. No matter the size, as long as you grease your pan really well, you're going to have a really enjoyable dessert. This isn't a recipe as much as a template. It's usually four layers, no more than six. And if it's more than six, well, we might as well call it a trifle instead. Okay, so the first layer, the base layer, is usually graham wafers or another kind of wafer crust. You could even use cut up pound cake if you want. I'm gonna use uh, cookie crust. Layer two is usually a cream cheese filling. This is my favorite layer. It's a cream cheese filling that we sweeten up with some powdered sugar. And then just when you thought it couldn't get any more tastier, we're going to throw half of the tub of our Cool Whip into this mixture and beat it really well and chill and let set aside while we make our next layer, which is the puddings. Usually both layer three and four are puddings. Traditionally, it's a chocolate and vanilla pudding that are made and chilled separately, so they layer really nice. You could also use butterscotch pudding or pistachio pudding. You can even put in tender slices of fruit in there. Some people love bananas. Some people are enthusiastic about nuts. You can even throw nuts in there if you want. So it goes. Layer five is the rest of the Cool Whip. So you're gonna spread the Cool Whip over that previous layer and then the crowning layer the sprinkles on top, you can use shaved chocolate. I use chocolate and rainbow sprinkles. You could use chocolate chips, a caramel drizzle, whatever you like, the choice is really yours. As the pandemic has pushed more of us in isolation, it's also created a lot of anxieties. For many of us, we're all in the same storm, but we're in different boats and we might be experiencing this differently. Some of us want to continue to date and have virtual dates maybe even sexting or sending intimate images, which are all great and fun as long as you follow the guidelines of health, safety, and consent, including legal consent as well. It's also totally normal because of the anxiety regarding this pandemic for us not to have an interest in sex. Some folks might just not be feeling it like they were before. This is totally normal as well. Try to eat healthy, take care of yourself, your mind, your body, your mental health does matter. And there is some great resources at the end of this video to help you out. Tune in for next time when we, well, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll see how the pandemic rolls out. Take care. And remember, you need consent to kiss the cook.